I came to Canada in 2004 when I was four years old. Uh, life was good in China and when I came to Canada it was all winter and it was cold. Uh, one of the difficulties I've had in, chi uh, in Canada was um, the language barrier between the people here and, uh, and myself. So it was hard for me to communicate with people who lived in Canada. First time I went to the program, I uh, was a bit nervous. I didn't know who the people were down, uh, down at CCCSA or the program. Uh, they tutored me for some English homework, some math, uh, science, and all the subjects I've had in school that I didn't know how to do. It was a good experience since I couldn't do homework and they helped me with it. When I was in kindergarten, I didn't know English, so I was quite lonely. It was hard to make friends because of the uh, language barrier I've had. Uh, but the program, the, uh, the after-school program, helped me communicate and make new friends in my own grade. And that's what made me uh, get some friends in school, and I'm still friends with them now. Uh, first, uh, when I was a child, I participated in uh, a super cool after school, of course, uh, summer camp, which I was a camper. And then as I grew up, I couldn't become camper anymore, so I became volunteers for most of the activities that CCCSA had. I became a, uh, um, a, super, a summer camp uh, volunteer, which I just watched uh, help uh, them uh, volunteer and help watch the kids and supervise them. Uh, I helped with the uh, mural camp and that and that just helped me uh, I helped them I helped the children with uh, making murals with them um, I also volunteered for spring camp which uh, the teachers taught them how to uh, uh, teach them basic necessities like uh, what foods they need to eat and like like and some other things that kids should know. I volunteered for uh, the Chinese flood, which uh, the Chinatown flood, uh, which was pretty messy. But I, since I was young, I didn't do most of. I didn't do the dirty work. So I did was help clean up the uh, Bowside Manor and help clean up the herbal uh, shop that was across the street. I also volunteered for a uh, super cool after school because I wanted to give back to the people who have helped me when I was a child. Uh, what happened during the flood? Well, one day in June, I was just playing games and I know and I looked outside in my balcony. I noticed the river was all flooded and it was all high up. I started panicking for a second. I told my mom we should evacuate from the building, but my mom said no, so we stayed at home. Uh, the next day when we woke up, the, the water was even higher than before, and we had no water or no electricity, so we had to move out and uh, live with my friend for a whole week. At that time, I was thinking, oh, what would we do about our house then? Everything in the fridge and everything, but then we figured it out, and then I lived in my friend's house for an entire week. When I came back, I was a bit late on the volunteering, but I still volunteered. I wanted to help volunteer because I, I wanted to uh, clean up the place that I call home. All I did was I went down to the basin in the parking lot of, Bo of uh, CCCSA or Bowside Manor, and I helped clean the basement and got all the wet, wet and uh, dirty storage things and threw them out. I also went across the street and helped an uh, uh, old herbal shop. I went to the basement and helped clean up their dirty shelves, um, which were wet and damp, and it was really muddy. So it was, that was a pretty dirty job. I took a class of Youth in Action and essentially what it is, it's, it teaches you how to be a great leader. Um, what we had to do to uh, obtain the uh, knowledge of being a great leader was we had to take a 10 hour, uh, 10 hour course for two days. Uh, we have to have 25 hours of volunteering hours and we are currently doing a, a uh, project around the community and it will help the community around us. While doing leadership, you are eligible, uh, th the three outstanding uh, members who are attending the Youth in Action 
will be eligible to uh, awarded twenty uh, five hundred dollars of scholarship. Uh, we did it. I did it. I did youth in action because I wanted to learn how to be a better leader and how to be a greater volunteer as a, as myself. The reason why I joined the after school program again as a volunteer is because I wanted to give back to the people who have helped me and CCCSA. I wanted to help the uh, children with their homework and I wanted to um, just help them with their homework. Uh, and I also like volunteering as a pastime. It also, it's, I enjoy volunteering and that's why I go, joined back to the after school. I also want to help out the children who have gone through what I've gone through, not knowing English. Um, needed to help them with their homework since it's difficult since of the language barrier that they have between English and then their, of their own language. Um, it's also a good pastime for me. I enjoy volunteering a lot and I, like, and I love helping people out. What I've liked and what I've enjoyed about volunteering is the people I've worked with and all the friends I've made. I've also enjoyed volunteering and helping the people around me so they could um, later uh, help other people back. So that is why I enjoy volunteering.